Hi, and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you about wine, hopefully help you find the wine. If not the wines, you will absolutely love. So, this particular episode is a follow-on from when I was in uh, San Diego with my daughter and we met uh, Marco and Rocco who were, who were uh, just happened to be at this uh, vineyard tasting at the same time we were. And Rocco kindly bought me and insisted on buying me this bottle of Zinfandel to bring back so that John could taste it with me and we could do a video. So thank you very much uh, uh, Rocco for the wine and thank you also Marco for your time uh, in uh, you spent with us in that winery. It was a, it was a great, great afternoon. So here we are. So we're going to taste this. <laughs> it's a Zinfandel. We know it's from California because that's where I bought it. <laughs> The bottle's on John's right, your left. Should we have a smell, see what it's like? I would love to, but I first as, as well also need to say thank you very much Rocco and Marco um, for the wine. Thanks for sending it. Thanks for looking after John as well while he was out there. Um, you know, I know he can get a bit nervy on his own, but I, I watched the video and you did very well. Very well. So thank you so very much. Was that the right video? I think it was. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's give it a go. Um, so Zinfandel, Zinfandel, Zinfandel. <coughs> is it, is it, is it um, grown anywhere else than in California or in the States? Um, predominantly it's the States, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm thinking um, predominantly the States. I think, no, I think Chile, Chile Chile's done some. D yeah. Okay. Um, so about all I can think of really yeah. off the top of my head, yeah. But Zinfandel, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm looking... Because that's quite a light coloured. Um, what you'd expect for Zinfandel. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, yeah, I don't think it's got your purple ring on it. <laughs> no, John, there's uh, none of my purple ring <laughs> on no. at all. But thank, thanks for mentioning that. That's fine. Um, it's got a very vibrant ruby colour, very vibrant, which is good, but not what I expected. I'm going to have a go on the old nose. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. Ooh, now that was... Powerful. Without even getting in there. Yeah, you didn't even have to, yeah. Sometimes you really struggle on a wine to get a, a sort of nose, but that oh, just, wow. you just, whoa. Wow. That is, well, to smell it, it's lush. It smells delicious. It smells like really tarry, almost um, like, t again, like tobacco-y. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. I was not expecting that. This is, this is, I know I've had a fair few, but this is one of those where I could set a, just smell this for 10 minutes before getting yeah. right. Well. It's almost like, you smell it and you think, I don't really believe it was that strong, and you should go back to it. And yeah, it's it, like, it and then it's, yeah, we, you, yeah. then you're trying to pick more out of it. I'm going to have to have a taste of this, John. So I? Oh, all right. Mmm. Mmm. And it backs itself up. And that is. That wow. Is. I, I, I almost did it. I did did it an injustice. And when I looked at the colour, I was kind of. I, I was I was dubious. But I was thinking in my mind, I knew half what to expect. I was wrong because I succeeded. So we've got a new expression then. Instead of never judge a book by its colour, never judge a wine by its colour. <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> you said never judge your book by its colour. I mean cover. <laughs> but no, you hey, no, that's a good that's a good one, John. I like that one. Never judge a wine by its colour. Because yeah. that coming through the complexity, that was really soft tannins, but richness, that's sitting on my tongue. Either side and in the middle. That's not that's taking no prisoners at. I'm I'm yeah, I'm very impressed with that. Mm. Even though I, I tasted it when I, I have tasted this before, mm. but I must admit that was probably after about five, six others. So I think my my palate must have been a little bit tired. Yeah. Um, and it was hot. Mm. You know that that nice sort of uh, twenty eight degrees C with the sea air mm. just around the corner. Yeah, in the lovely vineyard, bottle after bottle. Rocco and Marco to keep you company. Yeah, and, and my daughter Holly, she was there too. Oh, she wasn't on video. Oh, she was taking no, she the was video behind the camera. Yeah, mm. yeah, mm. yeah. See, even now, are you talking? That's changing, and I'm getting a little bit of. It sounds odd, but apple. Okay. Apple, yeah. Really? And I usually reserve that for white wine. But no. Wow. 
Your tongue is so much better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it just, it's personal, isn't it? But yeah, very complex. And from thinking, it, um, I don't know how much of a Zinfand, uh, you know, now just looking at it, how much I would recognise that as natural Zinfandel, because I'm drinking it. If you were blind tasting it, you Yeah. Mm. Even the tannins just, they just tickle you a little bit. They like the weight in there. You know what I'm saying? And then when you look for them, say, we're still here, but they're not in your face. Do you know what I mean? They're kind of, how to describe it? They're not apparent until you think, what about tannins? Think, oh, how long is that there? Right, so you really have to focus. So you, you actually, there's so much going on, you're having to sort of send your attention around the different parts of the, uh, the taster. It was very, very well. Very, very, very nice. Well, Bernardo Winery, congratulations. That's a fantastic, fantastic wine. Mm. And uh, produced in that heat. Mind you, I suppose a lot of vineyards are in the heat, aren't they? But mm. They're obviously quite passionate about it, and uh, it's a lovely place to go if you're ever in uh, in the area of San Diego. It's just on the outskirts of San Diego. Rubbing, they're just rubbing it in now. I, 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 this is not good. Well, this is good, but this is not good what you're doing to me. But for a few dollars, you can taste, I think it's five or six uh, wines, and uh, you, you get you know a little bit of a uh, talk on where they come from. You can ask any questions. They're really helpful. Very nice. And this wine is excellent. It is very good. Yes, thank you once again. Thank you very much, uh, Rocco. And uh, thank you, Marco, for uh, sharing the event with us. Mm. So. Much appreciated, we're thank to, you. We're going to have to fight who drinks the rest of the bottle. <laughs> oh, actually, you're a big lad, aren't you? All right, you can have <laughs> No, thank you so very much. That was much appreciated. I wish I could have been there. Yeah. A cold, damp cellar in Brighouse is a... There's not much of a substitute, but thank you very much. Yeah, the thought was there. He said you can go and see him. You can go coach. Oh, 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 we could fall out, John. We could fall out, you and I. <laughs> I know. I was just spot on, that. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Uh, anyway, we'll see you in the next episode, uh, and we look forward to seeing you there. Chin-chin. Chin-chin.